guys, we're here at one of my favorite booths, Triotech, and we have Ernest Yale, the big head honcho. Ernest, every year that I come here, you have just bigger and bigger announcements. You guys are doing phenomenal next year. In fact, you have several projects lined up. What are some of those projects? Yeah, we announced Ghostbusters. We're gonna do Ghostbusters with Merlin Entertainment in Germany, Heidi Park. So that was a big announcement. I was dressed as a Ghostbuster. Yeah, looking it's good. like a childhood dream for me, so I was so happy. We're gonna do also Fear the Walking Dead in Las Vegas on Fremont Street for next summer. So we just announced that. That was, uh, that's gonna be a blast. It's a walkthrough attraction which ends in a, you know, in an interactive uh, simulation. You're gonna be in the world of Fear the Walking Dead. So it's gonna you be guys incredible. are working with some very, very big IPs. Of yeah, course, AMC, Ghostbusters, Sony. AMC. Yeah, a lot of big names are starting to get to know you guys, which exactly. is a very good thing. Now, other than just that, you also have something very interesting going on in San Francisco at Pier yeah, 39. Yeah, I'm here the flyer. The flyer, now the doors are closed, but the flyer is a flying simulation. So we've seen stuff like soaring and things like that, but most of these simulators are too big to fit in smaller locations. So we were able to build something that fits on the pier, and uh, our goal is to have them all over, uh, all over North America and all over the world. So it's a collaboration between Triatech and our local operator, which we already have 70 experience on the pier. And you're gonna fly above San Francisco, uh, explore the city in a five minute experience, and it's opening next summer. So uh, summer 2017, the Flyer San Francisco. I'm actually very excited for that. Uh, Lauren and I, we actually used to live in San Francisco, so we're very familiar with the area. Uh, now, when it comes to local areas like Orlando, Arcade City, which is over by the Orlando Eye, they've bought several products from me recently. Yeah. They have a Typhoon. In fact, they even got a 7D theater. The 7D has been extremely well, uh, doing extremely well. It's, I hear for the 8 seat theater, it's probably the best numbers we've ever had in one of our customers. I, I so gotta very, say, very happy. Every I, time I go by there, there's always a line. So and at it's, the bottom of, I, uh, of the of the wheel. Yep. I360. Very, very busy. Wide. And everything else there. Very nice. Now with those 7D theaters, you're offering something new over here. You have werewolves. So yeah. werewolves is a new style of film for you, correct? Yeah, werewolf is really. Um, it's not an IP, but it's something that a a anyone can identify with. It's in the 1800s, you're in London, and then there's like, a, something happens, there's a disease, and everybody turns into a werewolf, and you have to fight your way outside of the city. So it's our, our eighth movie, and we're launching it here at Ayapa. And we did a pre-launch in San Francisco at the pier, and the response have been, people say it's our best movie uh, so far, so we're very, very proud and very happy. At the Fantastic, response. and uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I haven't actually tried it out just yet, you so I'll do, it it. I'll do it after the Give interview. Give the... Yeah, I will. Now, the only other thing that I really have to say is you guys are doing all of these different IPs, different things like that. Are you still planning on working with the theme parks, or are you branching more out to smaller mom and pop kind of places? Oh, no, no, we're, we're doing major stuff. We are opening uh, the Ninjago Ride, in Florida in January so that's gonna be our fourth Ninjago ride we'll uh, we're doing a fifth one and there's more that, that are gonna be announced so uh, yeah we're working with uh, uh, a lot of the major uh, amusement parks in the world there's a lot of stuff we can talk about but uh, yeah. no we're not planning on uh, on, on slowing down on that front. So. Good. Now, I've seen with the technology, we talked a little about it last year, but our viewers aren't too aware of it. But you guys have replaced some of the guns and you're actually using your hands so people can shoot things with just their hands so there's yeah. no guns or anything. Ninjago, it's a Lego property. So you move your hands and there's a hand gesture in the lap bar and it recognizes your moves and then you can throw balls of fire, lightning, elements, and uh, basically it's interactive without having a gun because most, obviously most of the customers at Legoland are families and, and young kids. So it, it made completely uh, sense for us to develop that with, uh, with Merlin. And the Very nice. Now, one final thing that I'm gonna go back on is with Ghostbusters. What kind of experience can we expect with Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters is gonna be a vehicle based, but a very dynamic vehicle where you're gonna ride the Ecto-1, which nice. is the, the, the movie's vehicle. You're gonna hunt ghosts. There's gonna be a ghost trap. You're gonna time travel. It's gonna be awesome with all sorts of special effects. I think it's gonna be our best dark ride so far. And it's interactive, correct? It's like players can play against each other yes, kind of thing? Yeah, you're gonna have a score, so you're really interacting against the players. There's eight people per vehicle. Very neat, Ernest. And we're excited to see what Triotech has coming up next year and the years beyond that. Thank you so much for speaking Thank with us and our guests. Thank you for coming and seeing, visiting with us. Thank you, Ernest. Thank you.